Hey, what's up, guys? Now, I have just come from a long day of work, and when I mean long, I mean from 7 o'clock in the morning to 12 o'clock in the night. And the first comment I see is a flat earth comment, and what I said to some other flat earth was a lunar eclipse was impossible on a flat earth. No, this guy that commented said here is the proof that it is possible. So, it just bonds my mind. I came here to just relax, play some games on my Xbox until morning, and then go to work. But, it seems like, it. let's just, let's just go into the video. I want to see what is this solid flat earth. Lunar Eclipse 2018 moon is not a sphere. The moon is not a sphere. Alright, now before I start this video, I want to point out things to flat earthers. According to the flat earth society, the flat earth itself, flat earthers believe that the moon and the sun is on the same level going around the earth. Now, this makes solar eclipse and lunar eclipse really, really not possible. You just need to look at this. Be honest with yourself. Look at the way the crate. You know what? Let me pull out a tool brush. I don't know if you can see this. All right. Look at this crate right here. Look how it bends. Look how it bends in a curved way. And you're going to honestly tell me that the moon is not a ball. Look at how this side over here curves. Look how the crater on it curves. You're going to tell me that does not prove that the... It, look. I think I can. Wait. Yeah. I think I can. Alright. Uh, it always comes down. But up at the top, even at the top, it, it is curved. Look, it is curved. You, it's plain and basic denial. And that's what I hate about it. It's denying, denying everything based on faith that the earth is flat. Do you honestly believe this here? That show so that shows so much characteristic of a round. Let's just say that a round shape, a sphere. So much characteristic of a sphere, and you're gonna tell me that it isn't. Let's draw a. Let's draw a sphere, and. A circle on one side. A circle is a flat object. Craters on it would have looked like this. See? Flat. A spherical play would have things looking like this. Things that look like it's curving around. This right here. This right here is impossible. 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 All of this right here is impossible. This whole thing being a light by itself is impossible. It's impossible. It's not possible. But you don't you just don't get it. And it's not because, you know what, I'm not going to go into all of that. I'm not going to go into anything regarding the moon. This is not what this is about. This is about this video. We're going to debunk this piece of shit right now. This is Masterpiece. And though it's spelled this way, it also refers to my artistic self. Just so I'm not wasting any time, <laughs> if you would like to skip this introduction, just skip ahead to about the 7 minute 30 mark and you'll get what you came for. <laughs> Seven minutes and thirty more. 
The lo- I thought I saw the longest intro ever. Seven minutes. And 30 mark. No one. I just don't get it. People will sit down hours upon hours watching flat earth videos that are basically showing evidence according to them. But doesn't really show evidence. It's just showing, you know, you and me see the earth. We, as we see it in this perspective, we see that it's flat. So it's flat. Yeah, it's got to be. It's got to be. I can see flat and I can't see it anyway because I can't comprehend that the earth is round because I can't do the math because I have not gone anywhere into space because they're not going to waste their fucking money to bring a psychopath up into space to prove the earth is round, show them in his face and I guarantee you if Jardyism or any of them go up in space you know what they're going to say? CGI CGI oh the mirrors are just showing illusion next thing you're gonna say they want to touch the curvature stupid past lunar eclipses that we are all familiar with and on the left I will be showing what a shadow moving over a sphere actually looks like a lunar eclipse is not I repeat is not a shadow of a sphere or anything else circular moving across a spherical object how do i know yeah there are four critical points of observation everyone should be looking at and i like to call these the confirmation to surface factor the shadow diffusion factor the sine wave or s factor and the reflected light factor firstly i would like see this is the thing with flat earth they just constantly make shit up Jesus Christ. <laughs> to point out the consistency of how a shadow naturally moves along varied surface types. This is the confirmation factor. A shadow will conform to any shape that the surface takes, thus, in a way, revealing the true shape of an object. If a shadow moves along something rigid like stairs, it will take the stairs shape, revealing the level differential from step to step. If a shadow moves along a concave object like a bowl, the shadow will stretch and skew, revealing the concavity of the bowl. If a shadow was to move over the surface of a sphere, it would stretch and skew in a spherical manner, wrapping and receding as it bevels and distorts along the sphere's surface. Note that this does not and has never happened on the surface of the moon during an eclipse. Which brings us to our next factor. The shadow diffusion factor. So he makes a four bullshit claims that doesn't really pans out to the, to what he's claiming. And to save you guys the time and the effort, I'll tell you exactly why. His research is flawed. It is very, very, very flawed. He used the ball of the earth. And use something that is much, much, much bigger than the size of our moon. And much, much, much closer than how it is in reality. And I'm not talking about the exact scale. But in reference, he did not do He, I don't know if he blatantly do it to the piss. To, to, but I'll try. I think I have a tennis ball somewhere and a soccer ball. And I'll pretty much show you exactly what I'm talking about. Note, the shadow is more crisp on the edge of the bowl than it is in the lowest portion of the bowl and sharpens as it rises back up to the edge or the source of the shadow. Note also that on a sphere, the shadow is most diffused or scattered around the edges as the sphere's surface recedes and it is the most sharp or defined on the closest portion of the sphere. This is because the closer the source of the shadow is to the surface, the more defined its edges. The further the source of the shadow is from the surface, the larger and more faded or diffused it becomes. Another way to say this is if you place an object on a surface 
with the light source above, the object's shadow will appear most sharp when the object is at rest. But lift the object closer to its light source and you will see the shadow lose its crisp edges and dull or fade away, sometimes to the point where little to no shadow remains. This is the shadow diffusion factor. And in conjunction with the first factor, the conformation to the surface factor, the shadow not only rises and falls, stretches and skews with the surface, but also sharpens and dulls. These two factors are almost all we need to find the true topography or shape of the moon. Yet, he has not shown me how the f lunar eclipse works on a flat Earth. We already shown people how the lunar eclipse work on a round Earth. It is shown. It is proven. And what he's trying to do is trying to bring up some bullshit claim to see if he can say that the earth is flat. Now, this right here, what he's saying is pointless. And I'll tell you why. You ever look up in the sky and see how small the sun and the moon actually look? That's not because they're actually small. But that's just how far away they are. Well, the moon is not that far away, but the sun is much, much further away. So the shadow, there you mind, is not going to cover the entire fucking earth. The shadow is just going to cover a portion of it. And I can tell you that based on what happened in the solar eclipse the last, last year that I saw. That I saw in my freaking eyes. I was in Jamaica and the solar eclipse was set to go place in the US. I don't remember where exactly in the US and I only saw a portion of it. I only saw a portion of it. I saw it came like a cheese, you see. Half half of the the, the how could, how could I possibly explain? Half of the 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 moon I didn't see the moon at all, and it just cut out half of the sun, go around and go back. Other places in the U.S. see it perfectly. I didn't see it perfectly. I couldn't believe it when I see it, and it only happens for a couple of minutes. That is impossible in a flat Earth. One factor. He has not shown me the evidence this why is called the Earth the sine wave is factor or S flat. Factor. Because the moon is said to be a sphere, the shadow... Look at how flawed his observation is. Look at how flawed his observation is. The moon isn't bigger than the sun, doofus. Jesus Christ. ...that is projected onto the moon should also take on the characteristics of the sphere. This critical factor does not appear on the moon's eclipses whatsoever. The sine wave factor, or the S factor, is what happens as an object, round or straight, spherical or bent, passes over a sphere's surface. As Guys, stick with me through the end. Sphere, I'm going to show you what really curve, happens on the lunar eclipse. Because he doesn't middle, really explain it at all. The spherical contour and bends upward at its height, then falls backwards in a barrel distorted manner. The shadow will always follow the closest edge due to perspective. The shadow will continue to create the S shape until it reaches the halfway point. As the shadow moves beyond the halfway point, it begins to bevel outward again in a barrel distortion manner. When a shadow moves along a 3D I'm sphere, sorry for that. the center or closest be... part of the sphere to the observer is the most flat I would more likely do those things as well so and size <laughs> can't be. the most true to life the sphere will never be flat but the bigger the sphere is the less acute the angle of its curvature so because the innermost portion of the sphere is the closest to the observer the less curvature is observed however when we observe any lunar eclipse there is no wrapping stretching skewing sharpening or dulling of the shadow in fact 
every single lunar eclipse looks as if there is one flat disc moving across another flat disc. Is he as not the seeing this? As shadow moves along the moon, it maintains its circular shape the whole way at the same pace. No stretching, no skewing, no sharpening or dulling. Hopefully you all understood that, as it was quite hard for me to put into words. I'm gonna Those tell you... Those three factors are good enough for us to see that the moon is not a sphere. But one factor is needed to realize the moon's surroundings. And that's... Your observation is the most flawed. Oh, that's pretty, yeah, and stupid. I have ever seen <laughs> you. Basically, disregard. It's hard to try to write, tell you what I'm writing and type at the same time. Disregard the and angular <laughs> angular size of the moon to the sun and the sun to the moon or even try to em emulate it I'm gonna I'm gonna type and then I tell you what I write. All right, your observation is the most flawed and stupid, stupid desk. Even if that is the word, I have ever seen. You basically disregard the angular size of the moon and the sun, and the sun to the moon or even try to emulate it you basically deliberately use inaccurate objects to paint a deceiving picture sure once someone don't know this actual side of the moon and sun and how far away they are you they, they are easily manipulated by people like you you haven't shown how a lunar eclipse works i think i read it works on a flat earth and you never will eye in the sky at the new moon phase now i'm sorry i we uh, a lot of things that happened but it's actually bullshit and i can't but go over it again i didn't realize that i wasn't recording <laughs> this information is being brought to light you will never be able to help but notice something you've never noticed before that on an eclipse, the shadow has never stretched along the surface of a spherical moon. Again, that's flawed. The moon is way oversized, way close to the sun. It, it's just so un... No oh. stretching, no skewing, no sharpening in or fading away. Not obscured and distorted in sine wave-like motions. No light reflecting onto the moon from Earth. Nothing, not a single shred of evidence remains that the moon is a spherical body orbiting around or above our Earth. This 100% discounts and debunks any further argument or perspectives that hold to our moon being a sphere in the sky or reflecting the sun's light. This information is in line with the laws of the reflector. <laughs> The reflector can only reflect light chickens. brilliantly if the surface of the reflector <laughs> is concave, but the outside of the sphere is convex, and convex surfaces only reflect a portion of the light back to the viewer's eye. But a concave surface reaccumulates the spreading light, 
or reconcentrates the light back to the observer's eye, whereas the convex surface, like the surface of a ball, further... So what you're seeing is a, a, it's a big satellite dish then. <clears throat> scatters the light. If the moon were over 250,000 miles away... He actually knows. <laughs> we would only see a portion of the moon, which we would call the hot spot or the bright spot or the highlight of the sphere. But there are no hot spots or highlights or bright points on the sphere of the moon indicating the sun's direction. Instead, we have a perfectly evenly lit luminescent moon that gives us cold blue light. In fact, when we look at a full moon, it appears to be flat because the edge... <clears throat> we have been through this in the start of the video. You are lying to yourself. This doesn't appear to be flat. Even if I I am trying to see this as flat, but it's just not working. I deal with 3D models. I'm a game developer. I'm a fucking game developer. I know 3D models from 2D models. This is not a 2D model. In no way, shape, or form. Look at the look at those craters. Look at the way they curve to the side. And you're gonna tell me that is flat? You gotta be smoking weed, man. Are just as bright as the center or any other part on a full moon. Now that your eyes are opened to the physics <laughs> and the facts, what will you do? Will you choose to continue believing this lie? Or again, he has explained zero. Absolutely zero. Zero. He has actually explained zero. All right, so where is the comment? Here is it. Ah, fuck. That gives us cold blue light. I'm gonna copyright myself and get the revenue. Just missing. <laughs> Alright, where is the fucking comment? It's so close that it's easy. This is liter literally bullshit. All right, so this is literally bullshit. You mean to tell me that all that fraud observation is evidence? One, he did not show how a lunar eclipse happens on a flat earth. And he claims it is evidence. Two, he deliberately used bigger moon than the earth and much closer sun he did not at least try to compensate for size and actually did the correct observation. The earth is round. Round earth still wins. The lunar eclipse is only possible on earth till this day. And that video... That backed up nothing still does not cut it I didn't I'm just gonna say it before I type it I didn't ask for what was I gonna say I didn't ask for I've I'm not sorry. I didn't ask for why the the lunar eclipse doesn't work on a round earth. I asked for why the lunar eclipse work on a flat earth.
on around earth i asked how does a lunar eclipse works on a round flat earth a question not answered till this day bam all right i'm not gonna go any further into that video because that video basically proves the point it all came down to someone lacking the understanding of one these actual sides of the earth the actual sides of the moon and the distance the moon is from the sun and the earth the moon is 400 <laughs> i want to give you the exact measurement so the moon distance from the sun is 147 million kilometers and that that's a whole lot now the moon distance from the earth why did they give me miles what the hell is 2238 slash 9 what did I say slash 200 Okay. It's two hundred and thirty-eight thousand nine hundred miles. That's a whole lot. And the last thing, why did they say miles? They make it look so, so fur uh, in in kilometers, fuck miles. <laughs> yeah, that makes more sense. 384,400 kilometers. All right. So, you kind of see that 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 is not not so close. It, it isn't that close. Driving 1 kilometer alone is a long journey. Uh, <laughs> oh boy. All right, so let's do this observation. I'm going to try. All right, so I was searching for the. Ah, this is going to be so hard to do like this, doesn't it? I was searching for a. A. Um, uh, the tennis ball to do it with, but unfortunately it's not possible and then again this light isn't working whoa i think the f where is my other phone in my bag give me a second all right so we got better like better like this is the football that i have that i normally play a lot of football with ah, f it automatically start recording why did i do that I must say one of the all right so let's get the um, uh, moon in question rolling so if you have the moon the size of this this is a solar eclipse I can't get the fancy pencil that he had or anything but kind of get what I'm saying here this is the lunar eclipse this would be not 100% in scale but at least closer to scale than what he was doing the moon the Sun way over here and the earth and the moon casting a shadow on the Sun and this is how it would look but his one was flawed. 
it's actually it's sorry it's just it's auto capturing because of words that are basically set up to capture pictures when I see them like if I say capture it will capture it and if I say cheese it will capture a picture if I say cheese cheese there you go alright so what I was trying to say is that his observation was very flawed because he was doing something like this and as you all know the moon does not cover 90% of the world you can see from everywhere in the on the other side on the dark side that's why it is like so you have one side with sunlight and the other side without sunlight and it goes throughout like that actually in the salon it goes throughout like that in the winter summer you kind of get what I'm saying that's why in the North Pole you can see 24 hour sunlight at some time my fat earth just avoid that fact and it's not my best ever argument I'm just arguing with what I know off the top of my head right now I'm really tired. I came in the video in at home, decided to play some games, and I couldn't because of this f f damn fattered fattered who make this ridiculous claim. This is daylight and s and, and and night. This is daylight and night. Let me even put a better perspective here. Um, if I could just hold my phone with this. I'm not going to talk, but oh, I can't pull it off. Give me a second. Let me try pulling it off here. It's what did I see? Uh, I can't wait to start using the camera that has. Alright, let's just use the sun like this. Better. And the moon here. This is the moon. Shining light. That is... is <laughs> It's not the best, but if I could, if I heard, ah, what did I say? Get a fat out image and go way back. Uh, I can't even, because the earth is so damn big. I'll try this the next time. It's kind of a rush explanation and it's taking a lot of energy so I want to and it's so I can work on my natural things and I'll come back but the point of the video is and here comes the chickens is that his claim was flawed his claim was very flawed he did a not straight observation I did a North Street observation as well because it's kind of sh shaky. I should have done it a little better. But I'll set up everything right and do the right observation. Damn chickens. They're going to go off a lot. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy. Most of you won't because most of you are fat editors and just ready to tarnish my video and tarnish my name and say the earth is not round the earth is flat what you do do you not woke do the fucking woke do you know more shit I know but I'll see you guys next time